You can't tell, but we're all made here. Hey guys, welcome back to a new edition of the Weekly Loot. I'm your host, Matt. With me always is my co-host, the Angry Ant. Oh yeah, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> he is here and he is angry. I'm so angry. <laughs> if you can tell in the sound of my voice. Mm. Er. Don't, let him, don't let him listen. Don't <laughs> let him lie to you. He's, he's a rage all. He's like the He's like the Incredible Hulk, but instead of getting greener and stronger, he gets paler and weaker. <laughs> paler. <laughs> yeah. He's oh, really man, pale. Yeah. And instead of like not talking, he talks way too much. Yeah, I do talk a lot sometimes. <laughs> it's rare. I hold it in <laughs> until I get angry. Uh, but, uh, thanks for joining us, guys. We've got a great show today. We're going to recap E3 2016. Uh-oh. Which Anthony has informed me is still happening, but I think it's over with. Yeah, it probably is. I'm pretty sure I am. What can we announce at this point? Yeah, I'm pretty sure E3 is done. It's in the books. <laughs> it was a great year. It was a pretty good E3. For some people. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like how, you, I like how you question everything. I do question everything. You like to debate everything. <laughs> Uh, we're going to go back, guys, recap everything, talk about the big announcements, what we thought was cool, what we thought was pretty uncool. Oh, yeah, there's a few things. Uh, we're pretty excited about this, though, guys. Uh, real excited about E3. Let's just dive right into this. Okay. Anthony, from mm-hmm. your perspective, what was the biggest E3 announcement to you? To me? To you. Well, I think a lot of people are going to agree with me on this one. It has to be The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Mm-hmm. That's has good, to be. That's a good choice. A lot of people are saying it was the big the big announcement at E3. Oh, well, definitely. I mean, everybody knew it was happening. Yeah. But it was just kind of like finally. I think, it, oh yeah, it was announced. It was first announced 2013. The game was originally planned for a 2015 release date. But it's currently set for release sometime in 2017. They don't have an exact date. That's like two years away. It's <laughs> <That's> just <laughs> one year away. <laughs> <laughs> that feels like a lifetime to me. It doesn't feel like it should when, be too When you see this game, it feels like a lifetime. Because oh, you, yeah. want, you want to play it. Oh, I'm okay. pretty jealous that people got hands-on demos of it at E3. Oh, man. Like, Were you jealous when you saw them? Were you like, ah, I should have went this year? Definitely. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll stray a little bit to the, the Zelda booth. Have you seen like people walking through and showing it? Gorgeous. Oh, I, think, I think a lot of people were just cool happy thing. to take pictures. Yeah. I mean, Instagram must have blew up with Zelda stuff. <laughs> I did. I need to check it out. I mean, see exploded what it, was on it. it looked awesome, man. They put yeah. a lot of time into that. It looks cool. Time. I like to have that just for a bedroom. Uh, Let's talk about the game, though. I mean, uh, mm-hmm. I hear that it's, oh, it's open world, from what I understand. Yeah. It's, Which, uh, they were all kind of open world. Somewhat. Really. really I mean, they were. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they kind of were. They kind of were. were Maybe they? it's just more open world. Okay. Well, uh, let me read a little bit about it. It's an uh, action-adventure video game, which everybody knows. Mm-hmm. It's under development by Nintendo. Nintendo. The Wii U. When they get it? <laughs> and the company's upcoming video game platform codename NX. Yeah, I'm, yeah, they're doing a dual release for the Wii U and the NX. Oh yeah. So they, they you know, they did that a lot. Mm-hmm. All the Zelda games. You know, a lot of them came out on the Wii, then they came out on the Wii U. Pop quiz. What number Zelda game is this? Oh gosh, don't ask me that. There's no way of knowing that. It's There's the 19th. So 19th, man. There's man. so many. There what was your favorite Zelda game? Right off the top of your head. I think I explained this last time. Just, just say you gotta go. Oh, it's deep. um. Ocarina of Time. Ocarina of Time. I liked Ocarina of Time. That's probably my favorite. Link Between Worlds was really fun. Yeah. It was a really fun game. It was. Uh, um, Ocarina of Time. That's what I like about the 3DS because you can kind of go, go back, back and play these. Yeah, go yeah. back and play them. They're remastered. Hard to find some of them, but I mean, they're they're really fun. I'm pretty excited about that. But the Legends of Zelda, big thing. Uh, I, I, I got watched a little bit of the demo. I was I was yeah. really impressed. That's too really so impressed. pretty looking. It's not, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Nintendo, I, I love the colors that Nintendo uses. When everybody gives them a hard time because their graphics, you know, doesn't rival PS PlayStation or mm-hmm. Microsoft, but they just have a, you know, it's just it's pretty, man. Like yeah. Splatoon and all that. I mean, it's just cool colors, man. They just use their colors really well. This game's gonna be high def, high def though. Well, yeah. I mean, they've had a couple high def ones. Yeah. But uh, Twilight Princess released HD here. Uh, I think. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I'm gonna get that too. I remember how long ago it was? A couple months maybe. Yeah. I had it pre-ordered and I kind of I just didn't go with it. Oh really? I just, yeah, I mean I liked it. I had the pre-order with the cool Amiibo. Oh uh, yeah, Amiibo was a big thing. Yeah, I just never went uh, never went full throttle on it. Yeah. <laughs> you know I don't know. I guess because I'd already played it and beat it, I was just kind of like, eh. <laughs> you know, never really worth sixty. So you know sometimes I'll double dip. Some I do double dip a lot, mm-hmm. but not at the full price range. To me, if a game's already come out once, just because remastered, don't mean it should get a new sixty dollar price tag to it. Mm. You know, let me tell you the plot of this game. 
I guess if you want to. <laughs> okay, it says, Link awakens from a deep sleep, as usual. Mm. Like every other one. <laughs> like every other one. <laughs> and a mysterious voice guides him to discover what has become of the ruined kingdom of Hyrule. Mm. Link meets an old man and learns from him that a hundred years prior, a great evil known as Calamity Ganon mm. appeared and laid waste to Hyrule. Wait, wait, wait. wait. So you're telling me mm. that he wakes up. Oh, yeah. He's got that game. <laughs> I mean, that's, that sounds, sounds like familiar, every, doesn't it? sounds like every other... <laughs> We don't really need to go in depth in this. I think people. Nah, uh, this is Zelda basically game. Basically the same. Yeah. As before, but it's fun because you know it's Zelda. you know what a lot of people gave uh, a Zelda game that I thought was pretty interesting. A lot of people gave it a pretty hard time. Was Majora's Mask? Did you ever play that? I did, but I never strange, beat it. It was a very strange game, young, but yeah. it was so fun. <laughs> it got a great score. It's got great scores all over. That's, that's I mean, a game I need to go back and play. Yeah, it's on 3DS too. Ah, see, I need 3DS. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 3DS has some new stuff coming. 3DS out too. is where it's at. Uh, yeah, since we're since we're on the topic of Nintendo, let's talk about Nintendo's E3. Some of the big ones from it. Um, the second biggest announcement, obviously, in my opinion, is Pokemon Sun and Moon. I think Pokemon games are, I mean, they're pretty big. Mm. You know, a lot of people love the Pokemon mm. games. Yeah. I've, I've made a couple forays into the Pokemon games. Mm. Um, it, it's interesting and it's fun. Uh, it's just such like a mountain to climb. Like if you haven't got into it yet, because there's just so many Pokemon. Yeah, I mean, it's <laughs> just so, up a some lot. of them, <laughs> and some of them are like, I mean, you know, some of these Pokemon are really hard to get. Really? Like, if you don't lose, like, certain events or, like, you know, like, secret ways of getting them, like, you, you're not going to get them unless you trade for them or buy them. Oh. You know, like, well, GameStop. GameStop, sometimes they give away Pokemon, oh, like, man. rare Pokemon. And, you know, you know, like, nobody knows. Yeah, I mean. I like, if you don't check on it, I mean, nobody knows, yeah. <laughs> like, you literally have to go to GameStop and be like, hey, you got Pokemon? <laughs> Need them. I need them now. They give you, like, a voucher and you go and put it in and download them. Well, that's kind of cool. It's, uh, it's just such a... It's fun, though, man. They are fun. I'll give them that. I'm pretty excited. I probably will get the new Pokemon Sun and Moon games. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you don't know the way Nintendo does is they release two games usually oh, they're yeah. essentially the same game but there's different like legendary Pokemon oh, in the games but usually you can you can get both of them with one game oh can you so can, yeah pretty much oh okay um, sounds like a big it just money depend- scheme there for a minute <laughs> no it's just more or less whichever one you kind of want more oh you know I'll probably go with Sun will you? probably I'll probably go with neither <laughs> you should try them they're pretty fun <laughs> You have a lot of friends play Pokemon, you don't know. I guess so. I guess yeah. Some you, Pokemon you, have a lot, you have a lot of friends play Pokemon, you don't know. <laughs> um, Pokemon Sun and Moon, it's scheduled to release in November. Uh, I've read 18th, 23rd, just, uh, you know, Wikipedia just says it's set to release worldwide in November 2016. It's uh, the franchise's 20th anniversary. Oh, really? Really? So that that's, that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we were talking about Amiibos. Can I toss a big uh, unveiling of an Amiibo? That I sure. don't care about, but other people probably do. Sure. Waluigi. <laughs> what do you think about that? <laughs> Waluigi. Waluigi. I like Waluigi. I like, the, I like Amiibos. I've got a couple. Do you? I don't have any. Yeah. Don't have any at all? No. Uh, I got the ones from Mario Party 10. I was pretty excited about them. Um, yeah, I mean, I got some Amiibos. I, they're kind of neat to collect. And they're not very expensive. and You know, you can use them. I feel like they didn't really give you as many games to play them with as they kind of let on. Like, when they first come out, they were letting on, like, you just Amiibo and everything. Yeah. You know, but it's really not like that. Uh, well. <laughs> you know? Like, you might have maybe five or six games you can really use your Amiibos mm-hmm. on really good. I know one of them. What's Super that? Mario Maker. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be cool. Uh, I would use Amiibos for that. Yeah. Have a little Star Fox around. <laughs> <laughs> Although, you don't have to have the Amiibos if you have Super Mario Maker. If other people make them mm-hmm. with the level, or on the level, like, you can play as, like, Link. Yeah. Run around. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, I need to get that game. But uh, one last thing about the Pokemon thing. They're saying that uh, all the Pokemon from like Red, Blue, Yellow, XY, Omega, and Alpha are, are transferable. So, oh, cool. Uh, usually that's how it goes, though. Usually that's how they always do. It's just such a pain to transfer all those fucking Pokemon. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. A lot of people will, will get Pokebanks and stuff and just try to use them to help them. It's just, uh, <laughs> it's just such a pain to do. Uh, you know, I've got friends that come over and they like borrow my 3DS just to transfer all their Pokemon over. Really? Just because, yeah, it's just such a pain. <laughs> but, uh, you know, for serious people, I mean, that's the way to do it because you want, like, all your awesome Pokemon right on one mm. on one game, on the newest version. Uh, what um, else did Nintendo do? Well, they announced the new Paper Mario. Oh, cool. That's a pretty big thing. Mario games are pretty fun. Paper Mario oh, is definitely. probably the third biggest one they announced. They had a couple other one things. Uh, uh, I can't remember off the top of my head. Just, <laughs> just a bunch of 3DS games. There's more so stuff, yeah. Yeah. Box Box Boy. <laughs> just a couple different fun. little fun games for 3DS. Uh, um, what did you think about Nintendo overall? 
Overall, they won in my eyes. They won the whole thing? They won the whole thing because of Zelda. Hmm. Yeah, Zelda's a huge thing. Definitely. But, I mean, all the 3DS games that you saw coming out, I mean, did it make you interested in 3DS at all? Because I think they were trying uh, to push the 3DS because they had a lot of really 3DS did. titles yeah. coming out. I don't know them all. Oh, Monster Hunter. Yeah, Generations. Monster Hunter Generation. That wasn't a big announcement. But we knew that was coming. They just kind of gave a playable demo. Oh, uh, did they? Yeah, just basically a Monster Hunter game. If you've never played Monster Hunter, it's awesome. What's ever Oasis? Mm. Have you seen anything for it? No, I didn't oh. really. I, honestly, I didn't really pay a lot of attention to Nintendo. I kind of Nintendo's one of those people you kind of watch the big ones and you're kind of done. Yeah, that's kind of because they they come up with some the they come up, they got some wacky games sometimes that you're just kind of like <laughs> okay. You ever play Splatoon? I, I did play Splatoon. Is it fun? Yeah, it's fun. Ah, it looks fun. Just painting stuff. <laughs> box box boy. Hey, June thirtieth. That's not far away. No. Well, there you go. <laughs> there you go. That's box, all box you boy. need. <laughs> <laughs> well, I get. <sighs> I want to say Nintendo won in my eyes, but other than like The Legend of Zelda, I don't know of anything else mm -hmm. that excites me. Well, but just because of that, I probably will get like a Nintendo Wii mm -hmm. U or NX when it comes out. Yeah, well, I hate to I hate to cut this short. Oh gosh, but we got you know we got a limited amount of time, so let's yeah. move on to let's move on to the next one. My next question for you, Anthony. Mm. Oh gosh, okay. Microsoft. Oh, a lot gosh. of people are really really on them <laughs> about this E3. They're saying it was just awful. Drop the ball. I did drop the ball. Just sucked it up. What was your thoughts when you saw the E3? Uh, and the, the Microsoft show at E3, did you, were you let down? Were you ever excited to begin with? No. Nope. Meet your expectations? Just, nope. just tell me tell me what you thought. When you put yourself in that position again and tell me what, what you saw <laughs> after that. Um, gosh, I don't know. Um, it was just bad. Like, they didn't really announce anything other than, like, equipment. They announced a few games. Dead Rising 4 looks cool, but it's not cool enough for me to want to go out and get an Xbox. Yeah. Uh, for Here's those you don't know, they did announce the Xbox One S, which is the Xbox One Slim. Yeah. Pretty much stole that from PlayStation 3. Let's be <laughs> exactly, honest Exactly, yeah. And they also announced the Project Scorpio, which is a pretty much a bigger, better version of Xbox One, I, I yeah. think, or maybe a new one. I don't know. Oh, they're right. really confusing. Um, <laughs> my opinion the problem with Microsoft is they're, they're just so focused on the hardware side of it. They really are. They forget about the game content. They forget about the games and the exclusives and the consumers. I mean, they, they say they have the consumers in mind, but mm -hmm. it's just a lot of the things that they're... I feel like a lot of the, the new features and stuff they have, like the... Uh, I mean, what it's called exactly, uh, but you pretty much like Xbox Anywhere. You know, you can just you can play a game like on a tablet or a computer and then switch over to your Xbox One and start playing it again. Why? I, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I don't... I, 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 I thought that was really cool to begin with. Yeah. I was like, that's neat. And then the more I thought about it, I was like, I don't know when that would ever ever come in handy like I just honestly don't know unless you're like a hardcore gamer and you gotta go outside you, I think you said this earlier and mow the grass or something yeah, yeah. Well, that's the point <laughs> take yeah. a laptop with you know you. I mean I'm an adult man so it's like it's not like I can just be like oh we're going to the grocery store let me grab my tablet no cause I gotta drive yeah. <laughs> you know it's not like I'm gonna be able to play it you know I do like everybody else I save and I quit and I come back to it something did catch my eye though it was a game they actually showed a couple games um, Gears of War 4 which didn't catch my eye because really? it looks exactly like Gears of War 3 to me now it's all, it looked pretty cool I mean let's let's give us a fact Gears of War does look always look pretty cool Yeah. to me what hurts <laughs> Gears is the I mean I feel like the third one just left it so awesome you know it just ended in such a cool way I was like yeah that's awesome and, and I'm just tired of yeah they just, they're just they kind of cashing in on the name which mm -hmm. I think they've really done that with Halo they've just destroyed Halo Halo Wars 2 Halo Wars 2 yes just <laughs> announced also D3 we'll get to that in a second but it's like garbage yeah, they just, I feel like they just keep, they just keep beating a dead horse, you know what I mean? Mm, yeah. Um, there was, okay, the game that really caught my eye was State of Decay 2. I did see that. That looks fun. It looks like, um, I don't know if you ever played H1Z1, but that was a really fun game. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm actually waiting for that to come out on the console. Really? Yeah, because I love that game. It's so much fun because you're just out there surviving, unless you play like the, um, the Battle Royale games. I never really got into those. I was more into this, just surviving and mm -hmm. trying to build my own little fort and everything. But mm -hmm. it looks like that, but it looks like it's got a lot more stuff in it. So I, I'm kind of excited. About I've, that I've one. seen it. It, it was kind of neat. They they had some okay stuff, but just the overall presentation alone just Sucked. fell flat. <laughs> it just fell flat, man. Uh, you know, it's like I mean, I'm just tired of it, man. It's just like every year, it's like welcome Gears of War 17 and it's, Halo 25. <laughs> Well, that's we'll never stop making these. 2025. Yeah, <laughs> we'll never stop making these. Apparently not. I mean, the creator of Halo literally was like, "We don't want to do this no more." 
<laughs> you know what I mean? When the creator's done with it, I feel like that should be the end of it. Yeah. But no. Just, just get another studio, plug them in there. Destiny, you know? He's got Destiny yeah. to play with now. Yeah. A lot of people give Destiny a hard time, but they don't stop them playing it. You know what I mean? I don't like it. <laughs> it's got a, um expansion coming out, don't it? Yeah. I forget the name. Rise of Iron. Rise of Iron. Rise of Iron. You get a wolf? You get like a pet wolf? I, I don't know. It looked like it in the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> But it uh, also looked like the, I was under the the impression that Destiny was done after the Taken King. I thought that was it. Oh, and they were gonna focus on Destiny too. But now there's like another one. Oh, so I'm not really sure <laughs> what's going on there. I don't know. I don't they know. just realized they weren't ready for Destiny two and made an expansion. But uh, the best part of Destiny was the multiplayer. Well, the whole thing was multiplayer, but not the instances. It was just the. I had fun with some of the instances. Some of them are pretty fun. I just felt like the same thing over and the over. The worst part of it is when you just, it's, you know, it's just that whole MMO thing where you, you run an incident and then you're like, mm-hmm. yeah, it took a long time to, and mm-hmm. I got nothing. It's not the same as you World of Warcraft. They fixed the Ingram <laughs> since then. When they first came out, the Ingrams were ridiculous because you'd be like, oh, sweet, I got a freaking awesome legendary Ingram. This is going to be great. You go over, you know, and, encrypted, decrypted, whatever it is you did, and it was like, oh, you got a blue crap weapon. Not a legendary at all. And you're just like, son of a... You know? <laughs> yeah. Like, it was just such a letdown. And I think they fixed that since then. I haven't really read a lot about it. I just... Destiny was just... Destiny was one of those games you, you love to hate. Like, you, you kept Definitely. playing it, but you kept hating it while you were playing it. <laughs> but you but you wanted to play again. Hmm. <clears throat> I just hate it. Like, I would always leave. I remember we used to come over to your and uh, Roop's apartment. We'd play over there. Yeah. And every time I left, I was like, that is a crap this game. I'll never play a piece of crap again. <laughs> and then the next morning I wake up and be like, let's do some Destiny tonight. <laughs> let's play some Destiny, man. Uh, I just couldn't stop playing it. I think they announced the new controller. <laughs> if anybody cares. I don't know why you're... <laughs> well, I mean, that's, that just, that's just the metaphor of how crummy their announcements were this year. Just, they just didn't really do anything, man. They just kind of... wasn't nothing really big. I mean, you know, Gears was already out there, mm-hmm. you know. Dead Rising 4 was already pretty much out there. Yeah. You know, Halo Wars 2 was already out there. Mm-hmm. For, uh, Forza Horizon 3. You care about that? No. I mean, I'm sure somebody does, but racing games just don't excite me. I don't want to hate on the Xbox One too hard. I mean, it, it, it's an alright console. It's just, like I said, I feel like they, they're just not... Somewhere along the line, Microsoft forgot about the consumer experience to me, mm-hmm. and they made it more like an awesome piece of hardware than a game and hardware you know what I mean yeah like the Xbox 360 was really gamer driven in my opinion I mean the achievements like oh man yeah you know, getting the gamer score up was just it made you want to play games that you would not normally play again yeah you know what I'm saying like What's Resident Evil 5 I remember playing Resident Evil 5 I got like every freaking achievement but one <laughs> every one but one and some of them are really hard to get from what? I used to love chasing those achievements, man. Like I would play games yeah. and literally hate the fact that I was playing them, but I loved the fact <laughs> that I was getting achievements. You know what I mean? You ever did that? What's the greatest achievement that you've ever got that you remember? Because it's been a while since you played 360. Oh, God. Or man. at least for me, it has been. To me, the one that stands out at the top of my hand was Resident Evil 5 again. Uh-huh. And there's an achievement on there where you have to kill two uh, Maginis, whatever they're called, with headshots mm-hmm. while they're jumping. <laughs> and that was like the most difficult thing. Oh, I remember us trying to do that. Yeah, I had to like, go to like a certain spot in the in one of the levels, and you pretty much had to stand there and just pop, 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 pop. Yeah. Pop. You didn't get them restarted. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> and it just took forever, and I finally just kind of looked up and got them, yeah. and I was just like, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just, it was a pain in the butt, but I was really, really happy I got that one. Mm. <laughs> I, I think I think mine was uh, Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat 9. I sent you a picture of it. I was yeah, real angry were, that night, and I just started excited. playing. You were just like, look at this. I was pulling an angry ant. We had a lot of them, uh, Mortal Kombat. Oh, we had almost all of them, I guess. Mm-hmm. Just about it. But what was the... Oh, uh, let's see this achievement first. I want to hear what you... Oh, it was um, on the hardest difficulty without using continues, mm-hmm. beating the whole entire game. Yeah. I didn't even know I'd done it until it was over. I remember you sending that to me, and I was kind of like, yeah, I did that a long time ago. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, would you do it with no hands? <laughs> just played your feet. Yeah, I was playing my feet. But we had a lot of them. Yeah, we've talked about our Mortal Kombat stories in the past, so I'm going to yeah. rehash that again. I'm sure there'll be more um, in the future. <laughs> So what, overall, what's your take on on Microsoft E3? Oh, can we give it loot chess great gonna, scores? Really? <laughs> Whatever we call it. You want to loot, loot chess review this night? One. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna loot chess review that. I don't like that word. I just wanted to but, give it uh, a one. Yeah, a lot of people were really let down by it. They said Sony just destroyed them again. Oh, yeah. They've been doing it since Xbox One came out. It's just not been good for the Xbox One. 
<laughs> no, it still isn't. It's just not been a good life to them. No, maybe their next console, maybe Scorpio, will be the big thing. It saves them. I hope so, because I'm not. A, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not a big hater of Microsoft. Like I said, three, I got a lot of good memories of 360. Yeah. You know, I kept mine for a long time, and I finally was just like, you know, this thing's been in a box for like two years. I can't I can't help it. You know, I just couldn't keep it no more. Hmm. You know, once you have something, to me, if you have something sitting around, you know, I got a lot of friends, they'll keep friggin' Nintendos for 20 years. <laughs> yeah. You know, to me, like, once something sits around and you don't play it in like a year or two, hmm. it's time to, to part ways. So you're not a collector mm. in that sense? Not in that sense. I, I, I've, always, I've always wanted to kind of... But the problem is you just don't have the space for it. Like, yeah. I always thought it'd be cool to like buy a console and then buy like every single game of that console. Yeah. I read a review in the game form there was a guy that does that and I mean he just had pie. I mean he it was really cool though. He had like a basement and it was just set up and they just wall to wall of video games. Oh yeah. Like everything you think of. I wouldn't like here's a wall of Dreamcast, here's a wall of PlayStation, <laughs> you know, here's a wall of Xbox three sixty, just had everything. Tiger look. T- Tiger just had all kinds of just, Yeah, just had all kinds of crazy <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. I mean I, I, that'd be neat to do. It would but be. it would just take, and you know, he expensive. actually said, yeah, actually, he said, you know, he said he never spent over twenty dollars for a video game. Wow, that's impressive. Mm-hmm. It'd be hard to do too. Yeah, he would just buy them like used and wherever you could find them. <laughs> you know what I mean? He just wanted that's to have them, have them. That's cool. But yeah, it was pretty cool. It's a pretty cool article. I can't. It was in Game Informer. Um, yeah, bug in my face. I, I was <laughs> kind of dreamed about that. I don't know. I'd probably do three sixty. Honestly, if I was to click, mm-hmm. you know, something, it'd probably be three sixty or PlayStation two. Yeah, I can see that. PlayStation 2 had a great con. Or oh, great it's, it's video game library is like 12,000. I mean, it's like outrageous <laughs> how many games they've got. Really, it'd just be hard to find space to put it. Yeah, I mean, this room wouldn't be able to hold it. No. Not all the no, stuff. No, you had to build wall to wall shelves and still wouldn't. I don't think my landlord would like that too much. No, I think he had like, I think he had like a basement full and like a couple rooms. I mean, he was just, I mean, it was everywhere. Oh, man. Everywhere, everywhere. It's crazy. Have you seen um, the Angry Video Game Nerds? I guess it's his basement. I don't know. Just his. Uh, this whole setup, it's it's pretty cool. Like he even yeah. added an extra room, which is uh, dedicated to uh, old movie rental stores. <laughs> it's cool looking. Like you should just check it out. That would be cool to check out. <laughs> uh, let's move on to our next thing. Like I said, we ain't got a lot of time here. Right. Let's go into a section that I'm actually falling in love with, and I'm pretty fun with it. Oh no! It's, it's time for Anthony's neat stuff. Are you excited about it? Uh, let me just give a little rundown. Maybe uh, first time listeners, if you don't know Anthony's neat stuff, <laughs> Anthony scours the web, yeah. pretty much scours the world, <laughs> looking for something that he deems neat enough for someone to have, you know. I don't know if you can handle this one. Yeah, I mean, he, he pretty much finds something <laughs> that he thinks is super neat, you can't live without, mm. and he tells you about it, and he pretty much commands you to go pick it up. So, Oh, man. Mm, let's do a recap. What was your last neat stuff? You remember what last week's was? Uh, it was a Green Ranger Green Funko Ranger Pop. Green Ranger Funko Pop. Yeah. That's a good one. And you, like can, one. you can pre-order it right now. Anybody grew up in like the 90s and stuff should know <coughs> it about was, the Power Rangers. It comes out in September, I believe. In September 3rd, I think. 3rd, yeah. Yeah. Okay. But let's get on this one. What's your new oh, new man. stuff, man? Okay, this one I might not buy. I am definitely going to go buy the Green Ranger after I thought about it for a week. <laughs> okay. I'll go get that. But this one, is it's kind of expensive. Mm-hmm. It's usually something I don't do is throw expensive stuff out there. Yeah. But if you ever wanted to be a superhero, mm-hmm. have you ever thought about being Pyro from X-Men? No. Okay, well, maybe you will now because it's called the Pyro Mini Fire Shooter. Oh, snap. It's just like a little wristband you put around your arm, uh-huh. and you have a, uh, it's like a controller in your other hand. I think it, I think it only has two shots in it, mm-hmm. but regardless, it's pretty cool because you can hit the button in one hand, and then out shoots fireballs in the next. Oh, God. Yeah, it's cool. It's not a toy, though. Oh, well, <laughs> don't obviously, no, yeah, don't, don't pick it up <laughs> unless you're an adult. Yeah, it's a okay. I'll read you a little bit about it. Uh, it's a professional device that allows you to launch fireballs from your open palm. <laughs> uh, since the dawn of time, it has been the reward at the end of a man's quest, both creator and destroyer. It has historically been the element hardest to control. Until now, your quest is over. The power of fire in the palm of your hand. Welcome to Pyro Mini. That just sounds. It's a hundred bucks. Okay, let me tell you the price. Yeah, it's one hundred forty-seven dollars. Where you find it at? You find it at the illusionist, illusionist, mm-hmm. that right? dot com. Hmm. It's he made it himself. Um, Adam Wilbur mm. is the creator of it. But you know that would be awesome. Could you imagine having it like at a bar or something? Yeah. yeah. Some oh, guys, man, some drunk so guys cool. get on you, and you're just like, back up. <laughs> 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 well, I think they had a different one before. And it had it shot four. This one just shoots two. Mm. But you have to load it yourself with like. I guess paper or cotton or something like that. That's how it shoots the fire out. Oh, God. Yeah, I don't quite understand the mechanics behind it. Yeah. But you can watch some reviews on YouTube with it. But one of the actual reviews that somebody posted on the website, and I'm going to read this to you. His name's Magic Bob. He gave it five stars. And 
He says, I like this a lot. I like the fact that I'm able to produce fireballs anywhere in my room. <laughs> in what world would you want to be shooting fireballs off in your bedroom? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. He loves it, though. So <laughs> it's in a pretty big room. I mean, I wouldn't shoot it in here. and set the whole place up. Uh, fire. Yeah, I mean, you just burn yourself alive right there. I just ask him for trouble. But that's what I got for this week. <laughs> that's pretty neat, Fireball man. shooting. I like that neat stuff. <laughs> it's expensive. You know, maybe eventually it might buy yeah, what? I mean, what true geek or nerd does not want to be able to shoot fireballs from their hand? Exactly. Be a like, superhero. That's like a dream come true. I don't know, like a superhero. Maybe like a villain. <laughs> villain yeah. But, I mean, that's pretty <laughs> neat. stuff on fire. Yeah. I mean, think about it. You could sit. Well, I mean, you couldn't really. Yeah, you'd have to be the villain to do this. Mm-hmm. But you could, like, pour gasoline around something. Yeah. Okay, I shouldn't be promoting it gives this me that a, much. It gives, <laughs> me a great, it gives me a great Halloween idea. Oh, man. Oh, Can yeah. Power up? Maybe. Oh, that'd be cool. <laughs> It'd be fun to scare people during Halloween. <laughs> you're going to have the legacy virus on you? Yeah. Oh, no. You're going to die. Don't die. Just really mess everybody up. <laughs> uh, that's it. That's it for this week. <laughs> okay. Uh, one thing I want to point out, uh, Bethesda had a little press conference as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, had a couple of things. We're not going to talk about them all, but uh, the big one that stands out, is, of course, is Skyrim Special Edition mm-hmm. for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Cool. Now... When you see Skyrim mm-hmm. Special Edition, fifty nine ninety nine, mm-hmm. are you interested? Oh man, um, maybe, 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 maybe not. I know you're not a big Elder Scrolls fan. No, I'm not because I've not really played it a whole lot. I really gave it a lot of choices. Skyrim's, I'm afraid, amazing. I'm afraid if I get into it too it's much, amazing. just eat up I'll, all my I mean, time. I remember the, the opening of Skyrim like it's yesterday, man. You're talking like you're just wagging and like you're you're chained or something. And they take you off. There's like a bunch of you, and they take you off, and they take one of the guys with you, and he's like begging for his life, and they're like, well, whatever, and they chop his head off. No. Yeah, like you're about to just get your head beheaded all of a sudden. Oh, no. And okay. uh, luckily for you, a dragon attacks. Oh. And it's just it just all, you know, heck breaks loose. I mean, it just gets <laughs> insane. And uh, that always sticks out in my mind right there, you know? Mm, I mean... It looks cool. I did play. Well, actually, I think like I did play it a little bit, but the most I was doing is just pickpocketing everybody. <laughs> I was like, I got to be a thief. <laughs> I Skyrim, pickpocket. Skyrim was very fun, man. Was it? I love Skyrim. I really think you should pick it up. I think anybody that that hasn't played it should pick it up. Mm-hmm. Um, I know that they're saying that like the PC people can get a free download if they've already got the game and like all that on stuff. They just get a free download of the special edition. Right. So that's pretty cool. Um, you can design your own character in that game too, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, there's a lot of cool there's races. Lot of cool, yeah, there's stuff. a lot of cool character designs. That'd in be there. cool. And the big thing is they're actually allowing you to mod this one, so you're able to mod your your PlayStation and uh, Xbox One game, which is something you really couldn't do unless you had a PC before. Well, that's neat. Yeah, I mean it's pretty fun, man. I mean you want to be able to. What kind of mods can you do? God, I mean they got so many mods on PC, it's ridiculous. Really? Yes. Look them up. I mean they're just they're modding left and right. I'm sure there'll be a lot of really neat mods. That'd be cool. Uh, I mean there's like one like Final Fantasy VII mod you run around like Cloud from Final Fantasy VII. Just oh, all kinds of cool stuff. Yeah, run around <laughs> Kratos and stuff. Just all kinds of like just really cool mods. Yeah. Um, but Skyrim's just oh, man, Skyrim. I can't say enough about it, man. It's just one of the best games of all time. Hmm. Um, I know I've said before that I you know I usually don't double dip. Yeah, you know, whenever they release something, but Skyrim, I'll probably make an exception. Oh, really? I'll probably pay the sixty bucks and get it. Just, to, I mean, it's, I know it sucks up a lot of your time, man. There's a lot of great <laughs> games coming out, but I just it's just something I, I've got to have. I've got to have something on my shelf, <laughs> just for bad times. Just when you just gotta get on there and just whack some dragons head up. <laughs> I don't know um, if I'll play it. I'll probably just uh, enjoy your stories from uh, the game. Now, man, you better be. You better be lucky, Dusty, on this podcast. He's oh. got you live. Oh, talking does he about, love it? Talking about, Skyrim. Oh God, man. That, that man pumped so many hours into Skyrim. Yeah. I mean, it's just mind-boggling. <laughs> I mean, he loves that game, dude. Oh, man. He loves that game. He would probably, like, tell you to your face why you should buy it. <laughs> like, he, would, he would be all over you. That's what we need. We need that. Like, he would probably, game. like, drive you to the oh, store no. to make you buy it right in front of him, <laughs> just so you know. Oh, man. They just wouldn't leave it on until you bought it. He won't buy it for me. I have to buy it myself. No, Dusty's not that. No, he's not that. He's not that genius. <laughs> he's not that kind. <laughs> he'll force me. He'll physically force me. Yeah, he'll probably give you a ride down there. Oh, well, that'd be nice. Yeah, that'd be about it. I might just buy something else instead. Give you a little ride in there. <laughs> he might leave you there after you drop it off. <laughs> yeah, if I don't buy it, he might. <laughs> uh, leave Dusty on here. Yeah. Dusty, get on here. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's a raft guy right now. He's yeah, more he's hard not raft here right now. He's out being macho and stuff. And yeah, we were talking about games, and cool <laughs> stuff. He's out getting burnt up in the sun. Well, there's Skyrim. <laughs> <laughs> living in a living in a cabin. Oh man. Yeah. Or a tent. 
No, that's a cabin now. He finally he said he got cold and decided to leave. Oh, really? He said he found a, he, said he stumbled into a cabin. Yeah. <laughs> it was just like I'm staying here now. Oh man, that's what he told me. Yeah, yeah at least I pay a little bit of rent, but I mean, oh, okay, he, so. he pretty much gave it up one time and said I'm I'm in this cabin. Oh well, that'd be cool. He said it's not like the nicest. He's not 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 like not the cabin you're thinking of. This is like abandoned cabin on the side of the road. You see when you drive to work, you know. What I, I mean? don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like the cabin that, that kids steer away from when they see it. You know, like mm, we're not going over there. It's haunted. Yeah, <laughs> it is now. He's there, I guess. <laughs> it's haunted this place. Um, oh. Speaking of haunted. In a way, it's not really haunted, but in cabins. What? Where are you, you going with it? You don't know where I'm going with this? Where is this going to? Okay, it's a new game that they've uh, showed some gameplay of mm-hmm. at E3. Mm-hmm. Friday the 13th. Oh, God. Are you going to play it? I doubt it. Oh, it looks so good, though. I am never. I was never a big horror fan, man. Uh, it looks like it's straight out of uh, Part 3 is what it looks like, which is one of the better movies. Part 3 and Part 4 is the best, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not a big horror fan, man. No. I, get, I get scared easy. Uh, I'm not. I get easy. <laughs> freaking out. I need my sleep. Well, I like <laughs> I can't. I can't not sleep because I'm scared <laughs> of the boogeyman or something. You know what I mean? I, I love uh, uh, Jason Voorhees, Freddy Krueger, Michael Myers, all them. Mm-hmm. So they're making an actual game. And I don't, I'm not exactly sure how it's going to come out. It's going to be, you can be the counselors mm-hmm. and then you be Jason. That's weird. So I think it's gonna be like multiplayer. Like one person's gonna be Jason, the other players in the game are gonna be the counselors, and they gotta hide from him. Mm-hmm. So that'd be kind of cool. I think. I think it'd be fun. That does sound cool. It'd be a fun little game. I'd I'd, I'd probably pick it up. That's one of the games <laughs> I'm excited about. It's not. It's not the best game out there, but mm-hmm. it'd be fun. Let's uh, since we're we're getting a long time here, let's let's move on. Let me do a quick E League update. Okay. Uh, for those of you who don't know, E League is a. Uh, is a new uh, competitive gaming show on TBS. It's also on Twitch if you want to watch more in depth. Uh, TBS usually just shows the final round. Um, it's a pretty big deal uh, for gaming. They're playing Counter Strike Global Offensive. Uh, just give you a quick update on the standings. If you haven't seen it yet, check it out. TBS, Twitch, E League. Just uh, check it out. Pretty good teams. Get to know the teams and uh, get to see some cool stuff. And it's it's big for competitive gaming. We all need to kind of support it and. Hmm. Get it going because that's a big deal. Definitely, you know we want to keep competitive gaming like that going, and just it could lead into huge things. Yeah. Um, quick recap: Group A, Luminosity one over Cloud nine, mm-hmm. nine to five. Uh, group B, uh, Ninjas in Pajamas. Yes. Beat G two Esports. <laughs> Good. Sorry guys. Uh, group C, Australis. I can't. I, I, I need to look up how to pronounce that. Australis beat SK Gaming. And uh, was it SK Gaming they were playing or CLG? I can't remember that one. But anyways, it looks like Australia's is moving on, uh, and then CLG might be. Looks like they're going on to the second one, even though SK Jam- SK Gaming's ranked two. That's strange. But uh, Group D comes on tomorrow night. Looks like it's going to be Fnatic versus Phase. Mm-hmm. Uh, should be a pretty good one. Uh, I've heard some good things about Fnatic. I, uh, my prediction is they'll probably win. Oh really? Yeah. Uh, wow. If you haven't heard heard us talk about E League before, we're not going to go into too much depth. Go back and watch our old podcast. Um, once again, I, I pick Luminosity win it all. Anthony's going with Ninjas in Pajamas. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a big fanboy. <laughs> and it's uh, just the name. Alone. But we'll keep you updated on the E League. Uh, I'm gonna try to get down there and see some of it in live. Maybe when it gets towards more towards the the final rounds, we might go down there and watch the bigger events. Yeah, uh, it's not far. No, we'll we'll probably keep you up down there. There's a couple more groups to go, and then the you know check that out, guys. If you haven't seen, it, it's pretty fun to watch. It's fun to get to know the guys. It's a mm-hmm. it's a very very cool thing to watch. We should go. We should wear weekly look t-shirts. Maybe be on TBS. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, check that out, guys. E League. Uh, you can see it on Twitch. It comes on TBS Friday nights at nine, I think. Okay. Sure. Cool. Check um, that out. Let's move on to the big thing of E3. Okay. Well, before we do that, let's uh, do a quick little recap. What are you excited about Microsoft the most? Well, I talk about Microsoft. Yeah. Uh, if I had to pick one, it'd probably be Gears of War Four. Okay. Uh, just because I did like the other three Gears of War, so it, mm-hmm. it could be good. I don't know. This, you know, different characters, different story. Or not different story, just kind of a later on story. So I'm not completely sold on Gears of War 4, but if I if I did have an Xbox One, that would be what I'd be okay. looking forward to the most, I guess. It's just not a lot of pick from Microsoft. It's not really. I guess mine would be State of Decay 2. Okay. Okay. Now, Nintendo, what are you most excited about? Uh, mine is Legend of Zelda. You see, it's yeah, hard for anybody <laughs> not to want Legend of Zelda. Back grip with Nintendo and... Zelda games on the 64 and yeah, you know, on the fun. Nintendo, it's just it's, it's amazing. Okay, Zelda. All right, let's let's get into Sony now. The uh, big stuff. Yeah, oh. Sony, Sony through 2016. A lot of people are saying they ran away with the show. They had the best uh, best show there. I, I love it. Had orchestra just 
That was a perfect yeah. idea. Just having orchestras blasting out. Um, just operating music while they're showing trailers. And they just showed content after content after content. I mean, it was just game trailer, game trailer, game trailer. I mean, just really hit you hard and let you know, hey, PlayStation's where it's at. <laughs> and I think, it, I mean, that's just true. That's where it's at. Well, speaking of the, uh, the orchestra, uh, the composer was Barry McCrary, mm-hmm. uh, composer of Walking Dead. Yeah, pretty big guy. And composer of the Angry Video Game Nerds movie. Really? Yeah. yeah. Did you not know that? That's very strange. Yeah. Hmm. Check that movie out, too. What to call him? <laughs> do we know him? I don't know. <laughs> they did the Angry Video Game Nerds. You might do this. <laughs> might give us a little video. Um, so Sony, a lot of people say they ran away with it. Anthony, you've watched the Sony thing. You've mm-hmm. seen what they've got. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you what, what sticks out in your mind? What sticks out the most yeah, is got to be Spider Man. Spider Man. That's an odd one. I didn't know you picked that. Spider Man yeah. was one of the. I don't. I don't want to call it a lesser title, but it wasn't one of the bigger titles. Mm-hmm. They kind of. No. That was probably one of the bigger ones for me. Was definitely Spider Man. Well, you are a huge Spider Man fan. Yeah. You're the comic guy of the group. So. Did you ever play Spider Man Two for PlayStation? No. Nope. Two. No. Oh man, I'm that was a big, fun game. I'm not a big Spider Man fan. Uh, uh, if it's like that, it's gonna be awesome. I like the comic books now. I'm a big Spider-Man oh, fan. Yeah. I definitely plan on collecting the Amazing Spider-Man. I didn't issues. really see a villain. Uh, it's in development now, so uh, I guess not a lot. Do you remember what issue out. I told you I wanted Amazing Spider-Man? That's the one where Gwen Stacy dies. Yes. I don't I would remember love to have the that. issue number, though. I think it was 121, I think. Oh, okay. I'd love to have that, though. <laughs> Gwen Stacy dies. Oh, man. Wouldn't that be an awesome comic book issue to have? It, yeah, it would be. <laughs> I mean, just honestly. Can we get it? Let's oh, get God, it. I wish I could have. That's pretty expensive. <laughs> um, anybody's got that, and want to give it away for free. Comic. There was a lot more than just Spider-Man, though. Uh, for Sony, yeah. Um, let's let's t- let's start let's start with let's start with the big one. Obviously, uh, the big one everybody's talking about is God of War four. Mm. Yes, or just God of War. <laughs> you know, well, I'll it's, just call it God of War. It, now. I think they just call it God of War, but it's, it's technically God of War four. So it's kind of like a reboot, but it, I think it still does keep a lot of the same stuff. Uh, it's not a we. They don't call it a reboot. It's more like they call it a soft continuation. Oh, yeah, and they're kind of pretty much. It's hard to explain. They're going from. Greek mythology over to Norse mythology. Interesting. So, it's it's kind of weird. He's got a son now. Kratos is in. He's got a son. He's like a mentor, protector, his son, mm-hmm. and uh, has to match his rage has driven him for many years. So it's just. Uh, oh yeah, he's like an old man now. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty much uh, many years have passed since Kratos took his vengeance against the Olympian gods. Uh, with that behind him, he loses his son in the world of the Norse gods and monsters. Yeah. Because he pretty much just tore the Greek mythology all over the crap. <laughs> um. It's pretty much just, I think it's just, uh, pretty much going to be about him and his son, and mm-hmm. I'm sure there'll be some kind of confrontation in there that he's got to take care of. It had a little Last of Us feel to it, didn't it? Mm-hmm. Are you excited about the, the Norse mythology? Um, it kind of kills it to me a little bit that they're mm-hmm. going away from, uh, or they're going to Norse, but I don't know. It'd be cool just to see him fight guys like Loki mm-hmm. and Thor and uh, Odin. Mm-hmm. That'd be awesome. Yeah, there's not a lot left, man. No. Uh, they kind of destroyed the Greek ones. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, there's, nobody there's, a, there's tons of Norse gods. I mean, they're just, they go on forever, man. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's just tons of them. I mean, there's 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 Boulder and Frey and, I mean, just everything. Hemdale. Oh, man. I mean, just everything you think of Loki. I mean, it just goes on and on. Odin, of course. Thor. Hmm. I mean, just, just. All kinds of stuff. Yeah. You know, so it'd be pretty neat. Uh, what do you think about the gameplay version? Uh, the gameplay looked real boring. Like, just the part that we seen. Yeah. Where he's walking. He's trying to teach his son how to yeah. hunt, I guess. Yeah. Pretty much a Last of Us. Yeah, basically. <laughs> uh, look, nothing real exciting. But yeah, they tightened up the third person. It's more over the shoulder now. Yeah, it is. Kind of like the Last of Us. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty much a little kid hunting again. He's, he's got, falling around. <laughs> yeah, basically. I, mean, I really, t- I really felt <laughs> he like took an I'm, arrow. He took yeah. an arrow to the chest. Yeah. Or shoulder, I guess. Yeah, and didn't even phase him, buddy. Like, <laughs> don't care. <laughs> Little boy's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. He's like, it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> didn't even put a tourniquet on there, man. Mm-mm. No, he it's a breed. <laughs> God of War. Um, yeah, I, mean, I guess technically he's a god still. Yeah, well, yeah, I guess so. I don't uh, know how they're going to make that sense of that. That's I weird. Either. Very strange. I mean, uh, just that alone would be interesting just to play the game mm-hmm. and see how they're going to do that. Yeah. It, <sighs> if they do that. They might not even do I that. I don't know how to explain it, man. If you haven't seen the trailer, you need to go check it out because it's... It's like a hack and slash, but it's not like a hack and slash. Yeah. He's got it Spartan is, Rage. It is, but it isn't. That's his big move now. Yeah. Yeah. So that was pretty much the big one. God of War 3. God of War 4. Everybody's talking about it. You yeah. excited for it? Uh, pick it up? You try it out? Nope. Probably. I might play it. I don't know. Hmm. Just try it out. Not completely like. sold on it yet, huh? Huh? Not completely sold on it? No. 
Mm. Nah, it's got Laura. I played the first one and the second one. That's <laughs> the same stuff. The same stuff. stuff. This one does look different, though. Let's be real about this. It does. It does look different than the other ones. I mean, it's got a whole lot better graphics mm-hmm. than the old ones. But, I don't know. Let me mention something that I'm pretty excited about. You might not be excited about. Uh, Tekken 7. Yes. You got to see a little bit of Tekken 7 down there. I love Tekken. Uh, this was going out July 5th, 2016. I think that's in, like, France or something. I don't know. Another 2017, I think, worldwide release for PlayStation 4. Cool. Yeah. It's already out in arcades. In Japan. Oh, man. In Japan. Oh, we don't have, no one we didn't have any arcades anymore. Yeah, Japan, right Japan's already turned it up, buddy. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, it's 2017, early 2017, uh, Tekken 7. Cool. Do you like Tekken? Are you a big Tekken fan? Uh, I used to be, somewhat. Um, um, I had a lot of fun uh, with Tekken Tag. The first Tekken Tag tournament, I Oh, loved. my gosh. I, I love that game. Yeah, everybody loved Tekken Tag. <laughs> the second one, eh, not as, not as good. Yeah. Um, I think my last real favorite one was probably. Probably taking tag and taking through. Yeah, you know, the, the other ones are pretty cool, but... Yeah, those two stick out. Fighting games are awesome. kind of going downhill besides Mortal Kombat. I mean, no, I honestly, Mortal Kombat. let's just be real about it. I mean, that's just about the only one that's really kind of left. Killer Instinct. Uh, oh, yeah, they did announce that, didn't they? That'd be kind of neat. Just playing that. Yeah. Just for nostalgia value, basically. Yeah. But uh, definitely, man, uh, I'm pretty excited about Tekken 7. I'm going to spend a lot of time talking about it because it's pretty much... Tekken. <laughs> <laughs> it's very much Tekken. If you play Tekken, you played them all. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, they've got a lot of characters in it. I'm, I'm pretty excited. I was just a huge Tekken fan. I really like Soul Calibur. You don't see a lot of Soul Calibur games, man. No. Where's that at? I don't know. Man. It, I remember when they had the... Uh, oh, some Soul Calibur to come out. It wasn't DLC characters. It was just special characters for whatever console you own. Oh, yes, yes. The Star Wars special ones. I can't remember what it was. You know what you're talking about? Yeah, but they had Link in uh, the Nintendo version. That was version. the, yeah, Nintendo version. I guess they couldn't get the Star That's Wars the same characters. thing. Yeah, Nintendo, no, Nintendo had Link. Uh, PlayStation 3 had Darth Vader? I'm pretty sure. And then Xbox had Yoda. Yoda. Yeah. 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 yeah, that was one of the few times that I wished I had a PlayStation 3 instead of an Xbox yeah, 360. Yeah. I was like, well, I can't I remember, Darth Vader. I remember uh, freaking Dusty, man. He keeps coming up here. <laughs> he, had, uh, he had PlayStation 3 and I had to play with Vader, and he was just like, Vader's awesome. Is he? he was really good. <laughs> Yoda was kind of cool. He was kind of real small. He hard to hit. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much I all I love Soul Calibur, man. I don't know what happened to him. I don't know. I loved him. Soul Calibur. I love Tekken 2, so I'm pretty excited about Tekken 7. But yeah. Soul Calibur, need to get back, in the, get back on that horse, buddy. Come on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Give some games. Uh, let's just run through some of these other ones here. Uh, a big one that I've, I've been seeing a lot of, uh, I didn't know a lot about this until uh, right before E3. Mm-hmm. I think right before E3 I kind of found out about it, and then I watched the, the E3 stuff about it. And I really, really liked it. And then I heard that there's like a special edition for it and like all kinds of really cool swag that comes with it. So I'm really going to probably pre order it. Yeah. Uh, and that's Horizon Zero Dawn. Ah, that game looks yeah. really good. PlayStation 4, man. I'm uh, definitely playing that. North one. America, February 28, 2017. Getting it. Are you excited about it? Yep. It looks good. Uh, it's done by Guerrilla Games, who does Killzone. I don't know if you. I never played Killzone. Killzone's really fun. I really like Killzone. <laughs> um, it looks pretty good, man. Um, uh, just all kinds of stuff, man. It's an action role-playing game which players take control of uh, Aloe. I don't know how you say her name. Oh. A hunter and archer <laughs> as she progresses through a post-apocalyptic land ruled by mechanized creatures such as robotic dinosaurs. That right there to me. <laughs> that first line right there you just grabs your attention. You know, I mean, it's a thousand years in the future. Uh, everybody's abandoned Earth due to the world being dominated by robotic dinosaurs. So, oh, man. Yeah. All that just and you're cool. pretty much shutting them down trying to, you know, you're trying to loot creatures' corpses to find useful resources. I wonder if you can ride one later on. It it says it's it says it's somewhere between Assassin's Creed and Elder Scrolls Five Skyrim. Oh man! So, I mean, there's all kinds of ways to kill them. You can set traps like trip wires. You can shoot them with arrows, explosive arrows, melee combat, silent takedowns. Cool. You can craft items by collecting materials, machine parts. It's open world. I mean, it's just sounds amazing. I don't under I don't I don't know. I didn't know <laughs> a lot about it till just recently, so I, I can't really dive too deep into it. But man, so far it's it's got me, buddy. I'm really really. Really, really excited about it. I am too. I'm definitely going to get the special edition. I'm a, I'm a, are you? I probably yeah, just I'm, a, I'm a special edition sucker. <laughs> you are. You throw a statue and a couple little <laughs> junk, knick-knacks. You know, little knick-knack junk in there that I'm never going to use, I'll, I'll be all over it. You know the last collector you get, edition you, you get an extra about? 20 bucks out of me, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I got the, um, it's the Arkham Asylum. Was that the first Batman game that came out this year recently? Arkham Asylum was the first one in this little series. Of yeah, they had, they had Asylum. Uh, was it City? Yeah, I think it was City. They got a new one coming out. It's virtual reality. Or I think it's just Arkham VR or something Probably. like that. I don't, I don't but know. You I don't buy, was it the cool with the Batwing? Like the big I don't know how you define cool, but 
Yeah, it was like the battering. And had to, like a <laughs> journal inside and stuff. Yeah. That was pretty neat. That's pretty You cool. liked it? I didn't yeah, like right. it. I was disappointed with it. Oh, well. Because when I was being sold it, mm-hmm. <laughs> I was thinking, oh, a battering. Like, I'm thinking an actual real battering. Mm-hmm. And it was just a piece of plastic uh, crap. The coolest special edition I think I've ever bought mm-hmm. was probably the Mortal Kombat with the with the scorpion and some oh, yeah. bookends. That was cool. Those were awesome. I didn't have that. You had it. Um, <laughs> but... Uh, and probably that the only one I regret not getting is Witcher Three. That was an awesome special edition. And now what you came, you came with a big statue of Geralt like killing a freaking Griffin. Yeah. And a necklace. I mean, just all kinds of cool swag. Oh, man. that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now you can't even touch it unless you got like four hundred bucks on you. Jeez. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. It's. I wish I'd have got it for like one hundred twenty. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Um. I think they'll have a new. Uh, let's move on though. Let's move on here fast. Okay. We're getting out of time here. Or, or Horizon Zero Dawn. Um. Check it out. It looks really cool. Um. If you're listening, check it out. You can pre-order at GameStop. comes out early, I think February 6, 2017. Okay. Um, let's jump into this one out fast. I really mm-hmm. want to talk about this. Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. Yes. What would you think? Looks amazing. This game alone makes me almost want to buy virtual reality. Yes. Uh, the PlayStation 4, they have announced the PlayStation 4 version will include full PlayStation virtual reality support. Uh, they promise from start to finish you will be able to play virtual reality for Resident Evil 7. Oh, man. That's how they're going to sell me That's early January. Reality. That's how you're going to buy it, huh? <laughs> That's, yeah, I probably will for this game. That, that, that sounds amazing. When they announced that, I was just like, boom, jaw <laughs> drop. You know what I mean? I wish they got done quicker for Halloween because that game would be amazing to play on Halloween. <laughs> yeah, well, they moved up the date now. It's October 13th now they're giving PlayStation virtual reality. When did you say Resident Evil 7 comes out? Uh, January 2nd. Ah, it's too late. It's, it's about, about four October. months away yeah. after virtual reality. Uh, but cool. man, that, that's awesome. Looks like a the game, the game, the game alone looks awesome without the virtual reality. It does. It does. But I'm pretty excited. Reality about it. Is be I'm, a, I'm a huge Resident Evil fan. I am too. I've actually started buying the PlayStation Four remakes of Resident Evil Six, Five, and Four. Oh really? Just getting ready for this. Yeah. Five is <clears> the best one, right? Uh, well, uh, one's yeah, we mapping. I think for yeah. I, I like the fifth one the best. I like the second one too. Like I said, Resident Evil Six, Five, and Four. They're coming out uh, re-released. Mm-hmm. Uh, about twenty bucks a piece. Uh, six is already out. Five, I think, comes out here in the next couple months, and four will come out later on. Um, if you want to pick four. those up, four's pretty fun. If you want to pick them up, about twenty bucks. Not too bad for not, a, bad, not bad for double. That comes all the content, all the extra DLC and stuff they have with them. Cool. Yeah, pretty fun games. Yeah. Um, Cyber Resident Evil Seven, the, v, the virtual reality thing, huge, huge announcement. Virtual reality. I mean, Resident Evil virtual reality. I mean, do you ever think that you'd actually say that? No. Resident Evil virtual reality. Like no. you're gonna be running around killing zombies. <laughs> Be awesome. I've saw some gameplay at the E3. It looks. Oh, I've seen man. a little bit where you're walking. People look like they're having a blast doing yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, they just look like they are. I mean, I don't know how you'd ever give it up. Like, I wouldn't I even wouldn't. want to take that. I'd be like, I'm going again. <laughs> Y'all got to wait in line some more. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take one of your turns. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just go back to the childhood. Yeah. Of tricking the younger kid and mm-hmm. letting me have their turn. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm sure you've seen some teasers and stuff for Resident Evil 7, but the, the virtuality announcement's just awesome. Yeah, I awesome. mean that's making me a little excited about it. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm I'm going blind here because I don't my phone's being stupid and I can't read <laughs> what the, all the other other announcements are. So what? Oh, I'm leaving more. you in control of this. I've got some more coming. Uh, just to run down a couple of the last couple ones. Um, probably don't have the time to get them all in, but you know yeah. we've covered pretty much. But the Last Guardian. That looks cool. Finally too. showed some Last Guardian. This thing has been talked about for God, I don't know, many years since like. Oh, it's been in development since 2007. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was before we announced it, like, E3 at 2009. Thank it was coming you. out in 2011. Um, but uh, for those of you who don't know, it's, uh, if you ever played Shadow of the Colossus or Eco, which are huge games, Yeah. that's who does it. That's why everybody's wanting it. It's just, it looks amazing. It's about a, a boy and his pet crazy looking <laughs> dog bird type thing that he's yeah. got to kind of bond with. It's, I don't know what the eventual story's going to be. Mm-hmm. I haven't really read the story. Um, you know what it looks like? Mm-mm. The never ending story. Yeah. It says it's framed as a flashback narrative by an old man. Hmm. So he's pretty much telling what he was like when he was uh, his little. Oh, it's a griffin. That looks nothing like a griffin. That doesn't mm, look anything no. like a griffin. Uh, but it's about a griffin. Um, you got the mange? I <laughs> don't know. <laughs> um, the boy's been kidnapped under mysterious circumstances, taking a large, expansive castle. In the process, Kate and the boy encounters the griffin chained up, which is griffin's name, Trico. Yeah. Uh-huh. Numerous spears and arrows sticking out from his body. The boy helps remove the weapons, and through uh, Trico is initially hostile to him. The creature slowly starts to accept the boy's care and guidance. So pretty much like you and, and the Griffin will work together to try to, I guess, do something. Get out of there, do something. Mm-hmm. Pretty much about a friendship story. It looks really awesome, though. The it gameplay does. looks really, 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 really fantastic. Yeah. Um, there was one scene that looked real stupid to me, though. Um, 
the Griffin was um, it was greatly detailed. And then the boy, I didn't, I don't know if I even mentioned his name, but he just looked so cartoony standing next to him. And I guess they'll probably fix that later on. But that maybe it's so actually, I, I think the release date's pretty soon. Oh man, I think it's coming out on October twenty fifth. I have to get that one too. Then. So they also have a special edition for it. Well, what comes with it? Do you I know, think a statue. Of it. I I a statue, statue yeah. yeah, a little knickknack. Yeah, <laughs> some of them statues are pretty nice. Really? Yes. Oh man. Oh, I got a Mortal Kombat ten special edition, and I love the Scorpion statue. Oh really? Mm-hmm. I don't know if I've seen that one or not. Yeah. Maybe I did. And my Doom special edition, I really like it too. If you you gotta let me hook that up for you one day because it's the it's the big uh, I can't remember what it's called off the bat, but it's the big zombie thing with the cans on it. Yeah. And it lights up and there's like a fan there blowing up. It's just like <laughs> sitting there lit up and like staring at you like about to blow some rockets in your face <laughs> or eat your face off. I don't know what's about to do, but it's not gonna be good. Whatever happens to you. I got some Doom posters in my bedroom now. Yeah, you should put them up. I did. Oh, you already put them up. I already oh. put them up. Did you put both of them up? I did. Did you double side them? I, I did. So you got a marine and a monster. Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> um, oh, uh, there was one thing. And I guess we can go ahead and bring it up. Are you a big fan of Crash Bandicoot? Oh, <laughs> yes, uh, yes. That's what I was about to get into. Uh-oh. The, I don't know if it's it's a big announcement, but to to I guess older generation like us, yeah. which it's hard to say we're old. I don't think I'm that old. I'm still in the twenties. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, um, the they're making now. a Crash Bandicoot trilogy remastered. It looks awesome. PlayStation 4. How can you not be excited about this? I'm excited. Crash Bandicoot. We were just talking about Crash Bandicoot the last podcast. Did you know something? <laughs> well, Did you, you have know. an inside track? Were I got to like, call people after every podcast and be like, guess what? I mean, you were really like, really like, I love Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> Next thing you know, there's Crash Bandicoot truly really remastered. Yep. It's a big announcement at E3. Yep. I'm super excited. I am too. That, <laughs> that to me, man, like, let me tell you this. Xbox One does remakes like the weird stuff. You know, like they're like, oh, I'm going to remake like, you know, Gears 1 for no apparent reason. <laughs> yeah. But PlayStation's like, oh yeah, we're going to remake freaking Crash oh, Bandicoot, dude. Ratchet and Clank. Oh, we're yeah, going to make a Ratchet and Clank movie. And you're just like, man, <laughs> PlayStation knows how to get you, buddy. Are you going to watch the Ratchet and Clank movie? No. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> Maybe it comes with Ratchet and Clank. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it looks awesome. Yeah, it PlayStation knows what they're doing. They do. They're bringing back some good stuff. I used oh, to man. play Crash Bandicoot like it was when I was style. It's almost like they're taking a page of I remember Nintendo. the first one. I think it was the first one. You just wake up on a beach and you're like, hey, what's wrong here? <laughs> just straight down blowing up boxes and stuff. Crash Bandicoot was fun. It was oh, fun. I love Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> Never really understood the story. I don't either. <laughs> you, didn't story. you didn't need stories back in those days, man. It no. was just, you made your own up. <laughs> then you cut scenes and stuff. You just knew that some, some reason there was a, a giant bad guy you had to go kill. <laughs> It's almost like Sonic the Hedgehog in a way. About jumping on him. Because I didn't know what the heck was going yeah, on. Play Sta- it was like PlayStation's version of Sonic the Hedgehog. Basically, yeah. just made a bandicoot out of it. <laughs> Sonic, if you didn't watch the cartoon, well, the ABC cartoon, not the weird one. That was first, I guess. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Naked Sally. But mm-hmm. That would make sense. It was a good little uh, cartoon. Anyways, I'm getting sidetracked again. You get, I don't know how you went from Crash Bandicoot to that. I don't know either. <laughs> but Crash Bandicoot Trilogy Remastered, you picking it up? No, <laughs> really? Yeah, I know I'm saying I'm excited about it, but I'm not, I'm not too excited about it. Like, wow. there's so many games coming out that I don't want to waste money on Crash. Is. Oh, man, there's so much stuff. Well, if it's got a pretty decent price tag. Yeah, I mean, if it's cheap, I'll probably get it. Probably get it and play it. But right now, my money's going on some of these bigger games. Oh, gosh, I know. Virtual Reality is going to soak up a lot of my cash. Yeah. <laughs> Virtual Reality yeah, probably break me up. There's <laughs> a lot of good games coming out. <laughs> I mean, you got Call of Duty, Battlefield, um... Yeah, I don't know if you like this, but NBA 2K. Oh, yeah. I like 2K. Um, there's more. Yeah, um, the Last Guardian. I mean, all this stuff's coming out, man. Definitely getting Last Guardian and... No Man's Sky is coming out. Yes, that's a big announcement, that's a, too. That's, that was a, I mean, everybody knew about yeah. that before. Yeah. They, showed a, yeah. they showed some more gameplay and stuff at it. Yeah. But no, Man, just, <laughs> no Man's Sky. Daryl's in it. Oh, no, you're thinking about the Death Stranding. I am thinking about Death Stranding. You're way off there. I'm way off. What's your head at? <laughs> I don't know. But Crash Bandicoot. No Man's Sky is the one where you're, like, on a planet. And then you leave and go to space and you go to another oh, planet. Oh, yeah. And you just do whatever you want to. Oh, okay. Yeah, that looks fun. But you, just, it's no dead. you just raid people and take all their stuff and <laughs> be hunted down by Imperial armies and stuff. Oh, well, I got confused. Forgive me. <laughs> That's a good point, though. Death Stranding was announced. It was. Hideo Kajomi's, Kajomas. I, I can't say I, I don't know how to say it either. But... Um, announced his big thing with Sony. Yeah, now that, he's back. Yeah. He's you know, making his game. Remember, some people kicked him out. <laughs> you know. Looks good. Out. Looks like a good game. It does look amazing. I don't quite understand. I was wondering what was going to happen because he had Norman Reedus in the in the trailer for. Remember, this would be like the Parasite Eve game. 
Oh yeah. Remember? And then it was just, and then Konami was like, get out of here. And he was like, fine, <laughs> I'll go here and take Norman Reese with me. And he did. New game, yeah. <laughs> I was confused by the trailer though, because mm. he has like ink on his hands. Yeah, it's very it's like confusing. There's like a baby or something there. Is there a baby? I don't know. Yeah, there's like a baby in one scene. I don't know. It's getting real weird. <laughs> it's getting weird. It gets weird, but uh, it, <laughs> it looks interesting. I'm sure it'll be worth checking out. Definitely. Um, I don't know if I'll get that one. One thing I want to get to that I'm excited about. I don't know if you've ever been a lot of it, but uh, showed some more Final Fantasy 15. Oh, that's coming up soon. It's coming up in September. I'm really excited about that. I got the deluxe edition pre-order of that. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. They, were, they have another one that you can get off. Uh, Square Enix's website that has a statue and everything with it. Yeah. Like a super deluxe edition, but I didn't really want to pay the cash for that. Oh, uh, how much is it? A lot? Mm, probably like 120 I think. Jeez. Yeah, the one I got is like 80 Oh, I'd rather yeah. pay 80 than yeah. Like a steel book and stuff. <laughs> um, Final Fantasy 15. It was Final Fantasy Versus Forever, and it's just been changed. It's been, oh gosh, it's been in production since forever. <laughs> like I've been waiting for this game forever. And it actually, uh, so far from what I've seen and what I've seen gameplay wise, trailer wise, it mm-hmm. looks like it's gonna live up to the That's good. I mean, yeah, I'm 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 pretty excited about it. I'm a huge Final Fantasy fan. Mm-hmm. Uh obviously like the last one good one was like Final Fantasy ten. Oh yeah. Like years and years ago. I forget which one I had. It was horrible. Mm-hmm. Uh, that bit of but this is this something. is the this is Square Enix's big shot to kinda of bring Final Fantasy back. Yeah. You think they'll do it? Mm-hmm. I think I don't know. I I'm I'm pretty sure they will. I've seen somewhat of the game. It looks good. I hope they bring it back. Cause I'm a huge Final Fantasy fan. Are you? I love Final Fantasy. You know, I never got too into the Final Fantasy. I guess hmm. not, not like everybody else did. I just couldn't understand if there's so many Final Fantasy games. How's the Final Fantasy? <laughs> it's just a name. <laughs> Probably too much of it. Final it's Fantasy. That, I guess it's that, I guess it's that world's Final Fantasy. Oh, it's always different. It's always different. Different place every time. Oh, uh, Final Fantasy VII remake is coming out. Ah, that's the best Final one. Fantasy, isn't it? Yeah, that's the best one, man. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you're not the RPG guy. No. We need some other guys no. on here talking about this. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not that guy you need right now. Yeah, yeah Final Fantasy <laughs> is a huge thing. Um, I was real, I mean, I've just been disappointed a lot in the past. Mm. You know, just, uh, I just I got really high hopes for this, and I hope it doesn't let me down. I hope it doesn't either. <laughs> for my sake, yeah. <laughs> for I will, the podcast sake, I, I, I will doesn't. go off if it does. That might be good for oh, good podcast. Oh, gosh. I'll be really upset. <laughs> I played the demo. Yeah. Uh, I had things I liked, things I didn't like, but they, they actually redid the demo. Yeah. Which kind of worries me. Oh. That they, that they, well, people got so many, uh, I think people had some complaints about it, so yeah. they went and re, I mean, it's good that they listen to people. Oh, yeah. That's good. Definitely. But they kind of like went and reworked it. And, mm-hmm. But from what I've seen, it looks gorgeous, man. Just a gorgeous game. It looks fun, <laughs> as, fun as can be. Have you seen anything on it? Have you seen trailers or anything? Uh, maybe a little looks bit. Looks gorgeous, man. You're check it out. It looks really, really good. Okay. Um, there's one thing I do want to talk about, and it was one of the most disliked um, video game trailers or something like that. It's Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Mm-hmm. Have you seen the new trailer for uh, it? The new gameplay, I guess. Mm-hmm. Uh, it looks amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it makes me want to go back and get Call of Duty games. Cause it I do so have Call of Duty Infinite Warfare Pro Legacy Edition pre order. Do you? Mm-hmm. Wow. Well, I might have to get it. I'm a you. sucker, dude. I buy all this crap. <laughs> I buy a lot of crap. <laughs> Just to have it. A lot of times at this point, I bought New Nukem Forever Special Edition. I think I ended up with that one. Yeah. I, I, I think I sold it. <laughs> I didn't want to see that again. <laughs> it wasn't that fun of a game, was it? No. Mm-mm. No. Like I said, there's these games, man, they need to let some of these games just lie, man. Too. Just keep making more and more elements. It's just it hurts the original ones. It really does. Like Halo, Halo at this point to me is just it's just staining the old Halos. Oh yeah, you know. Halo Wars too. Yeah. Let's play Halo Five, just... man. <laughs> you know, like, you know, you actually there's some of those maps you can pay. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> some part, yeah. Some parts of Final Fantasy Five you can pay to get stuff. Well, that's stupid. That yeah. takes the fun out of the game. I know. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just pay to play games. I don't want that. <laughs> Nobody wants that. All right, we got about forty seconds. Uh, that's some big stuff we should be saying. Real no, quick. Uh, that's about all we can get to this week, guys. Um, if you like us, man, just keep on tuning in. We're we're glad you guys are supporting us. We've got we're everywhere. We're on iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn, SoundCloud, uh, Google Play Music, YouTube, anywhere that you want to listen to your podcast, we're there. Definitely. Uh, check us out on Twitter at theweeklyloot.com, Facebook slash theweeklyloot. Mm-hmm. Um, www.theweeklyloot.com should be up and running in maybe a couple months. We're working on that to get the right. website up and running. So you guys can come there and check out our website, check out a little bit more about The Weekly Loot. See you guys.